Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Sickle Bros. In today's video, me and my brother Quinn are going to be moving two of my large aquariums, 75 gallon tank here and my 38 gallon aquarium in the other room. We're going to be moving these aquariums from my current apartment in Chicago to the suburbs in Arlington Heights, about 30 minutes away. I'm really excited about the new house. There's gonna be a lot more space. I'm gonna be setting up the 75 gallon and the 38 gallon in my basement but there's more exciting things to come, including a big tank on the way. There's also a big surprise waiting for us at the house that we're gonna show at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around for that. We're gonna be walking through tips and tricks of how we're moving these aquariums, making sure we're as safe as possible, transporting the fish. These are obviously my prized possessions, and I wanna make sure they're safe and healthy when we're setting up the new tanks. So hope you find this helpful if you're ever moving your own aquariums, or if you're just interested in how we're doing this. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's dive right in. So the first piece of advice I have when you're moving large aquariums is to do it on a separate day than your full move. I know that's not always possible, but it will help so much during the process. I'm moving my tanks four days before my scheduled move so this should hopefully work out well. The next tip is to enlist some friends or family to help with the move. Luckily, I have my fellow cichlid bro, Quinn, to help with my move. He was a huge help and I could not have pulled this off without him. You the real MVP. If you're moving anything more than a 75 gallon tank, you may want to find two or more extra helpers. So I have a bunch of five gallon buckets here from Home Depot and a few totes that I got from Target. The plan is to divide the fish up into the buckets using tank water and a portable air pump on each bucket. This may have been overkill since the move is only about a half hour away, but if you're ever transporting fish multiple hours away, a portable air stone or even a heater would be advised. After getting about half the buckets full of tank water, it was time to start netting the fish. Starting with a 38 gallon grow out tank, we put them in the same bucket. The larger cichlids in the 75 gallon tank are getting separated into three different buckets. Again, everything we're doing here is being extra cautious as we could have just bagged these guys up and hoped for the best. a few tips when netting fish and the first one is that lowering the water level so that you don't have any jumpers is a great idea and also removing the decor. Another huge tip here is using two different nets. You can slowly move fish from one net and let them swim naturally into the bigger net. They seem much less stressed when using this method. gallon we left a small amount of sand and water as well as putting the filter media in that water as we were trying to preserve the beneficial bacteria throughout the move. In the 75 gallon we needed to remove the sand since it's an additional 80 plus pounds or so. We put this sand in the 5 gallon bucket along with some tank water in hopes that the bacteria would live throughout the process. Again a lot of your beneficial bacteria lives in the surfaces and in your substrate so this is a good way of preserving that. Moving the fish safely wouldn't matter if the tanks are set up with no bacteria on the other end, so we were constantly keeping this in mind. We moved the 75 gallon first into the rental U-Haul van. You right, dude? Great. The plan was to make sure everything in the van was as secure and locked together as possible. Once we had the fish firmly in place between the tanks and the stand, it was time to make the trip out to the verbs.
So at the house, we managed to squeeze the tanks and stands through this very narrow basement door. This will be especially difficult with a larger aquarium being delivered soon, but I made sure to take measurements so I could max out on that tank size. Once the tanks were in place in the basement, I hooked up the python to the sink in the laundry room. There's a weird window cut out from the laundry room to the living space, but it actually made for an easy path for the hose. We're eventually renovating this laundry room into a bathroom down here, but the sink should make for easy water changes and filter cleaning, so I'm pretty excited about that. The startup sand from the 75 gallon made the water a bit cloudy, but this cleared up over the next hour or so. After filling the tanks, I used the new water to acclimate the fish. This was a precautionary step, and we simply used a few cups of tank water over the next 30 minutes or so. And then finally, it was time to add the fish. They are much easier to catch when they're in the buckets and after a long move like this, but you can use your hand to slowly guide them into the net, and this can also help with any potential jumpers. After filling the tank, we noticed that the water line wasn't level, so we had to fix this with some wooden shims on the left side of the tank. Okay guys, so the tank cleared up about an hour or two after we refilled the tank. This is about a week later and it's crystal clear and all the fish are doing great. One thing I forgot to film doing that I actually put in the tank was some API quick start. You can also use Fritz, Turbo Start, or Sea Kim Stability. There are a couple other good brands, but basically this is adding beneficial bacteria to your aquarium. We did this knowing that some of the beneficial bacteria may have died during the move. So we just wanted to put some of this in as a precaution and make sure everything went great setting up this tank and the 38 gallon right around the corner. The fish seem to be enjoying life again after being moved in their new location and they've been here for a little over a week now. They'll be in these tanks for about a month longer before going into their new, bigger home. Alright guys, so thanks for sticking with us this long. Like we said, we do have a surprise waiting for us in the backyard. Let's go through this door here and let's take a look. So by sheer coincidence, the house my fiance and I bought has a koi pond. We already have some residents with these guys right here, but I'm also very excited to learn more about outdoor systems and restore this pond. I'm not sure if it's big enough for koi, but if you have any ideas for stocking, let me know in the comments section below. And keep in mind, I'm in the Chicago suburbs, which definitely has some cold weather. But that does it for today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the new large tank, the pond restoration, and many more exciting things happening soon with Cichlid Bros. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.